What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet, Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. One of the questions I get the most on this channel is about displaying fitted hats. Now, there's a ton of different ways to display your fitted hats. Today, I'm gonna be talking about one that I always thought was pretty cool, and that is the fitted hat wall. Now, I'm pretty sure you have all seen collectors with rows and rows of fitted hats on their walls, and today, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best way to do that. If you're trying to hang a hat on a wall, you're gonna need a hat hook. Now these hat hooks that I have here today are from Modern JP. I have a pack of like 16 of them here. This is the black color, but they also have them available in white and clear. So you can kind of match whatever aesthetic you already have going on in your space, which is pretty cool. These hooks are very different than the hooks that I've seen people use to hang hats in the past. These hooks are specifically made for hats. So they'll hang dad hats, snapbacks, fitted hats. There's two major reasons why I like these hat hooks in particular and why I wanted to review them for y'all. The first reason is that these hooks will hold your hat in two different ways. Now, normally when you see hats hung on a wall, it's like this. This is normally what it looks like when you see a hat hanging on a wall, which is cool. There's no problem with it, but you can really only see the crown and the top bill. And as we all know, there's so much more to a hat than just the top of the crown and the top bill. These hooks let you hang the hat like this. Now it's actually holding the hat facing forward instead of down. So you can see the crown, the top bill, and the front logo, which I think is a really big deal. This just looks 10 times better. It also takes up less space being hung like this so you can fit more hats onto your wall. And let me tell you, the clips are very secure. Like this hat, I'm, I'm really shaking it right now and it's not going anywhere. So you don't have to worry about accidentally bumping into it or having your hats bump each other. Maybe you're looking for one, whatever the case may be. The hats are not going nowhere. The hook is very, very sturdy. The second reason I really like the modern JP hooks is that these adhere to the wall in two different ways. So the first way is you can screw them into the wall. Modern JP includes screws. So here's a pack of 16 screws to go with the 16 hooks that I have in this box here. And you would just take out one of the screws. There's a hole in the back of the hook. Now I can see it there and boom, you would screw it in just like that. Now me personally, I don't like dealing with screws. I live in an apartment. I don't like screwing anything into my walls. It's a headache. So when I saw that these actually have an adhesive on the back that you can stick to the wall, that's perfect because I'm sure I'm not the only person out there who does not like dealing with screws. Having this type of sticky adhesive that you can stick to the wall and still have a secure hat hook is gonna come in clutch for a lot of people. You can screw them into the wall, you can stick them onto the wall. The modern JP hat hook gives you options. So those are the things that I really like about these hat hooks. Now I'm gonna show you how to use them to display your hats or to make a hat wall. In my experience, anytime you're using adhesive to hold something to the wall, you're gonna wanna start with a clean surface. So I just wiped down the wall with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and I waited for that to completely dry. Now I can go ahead and start placing my hooks. So I have an idea of how I want this to be set up and I can just lay the hook down where I want it to go. For reference, this is how it should be placed. This part here with the circle should be on top. The two teeth should be pointing upwards on the bottom. So let's go ahead and put that on the wall. And I know that I basically want it right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold that down for a couple of seconds, making sure that it gets a nice, strong seal to the wall. Like I mentioned earlier, you can use these hat hooks in two different ways. So you can hang it like this. Easy, one, two, three, the hat is hanging. You can see what it looks like. Or you can hang it like this. Still super easy, but now you have a way better look at your fitted cap. I wanna make sure y'all get to see the full effect and I think it looks best when there's multiple hats. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang another two. Here's the second hat and y'all can see what I mean. It looks a lot better with multiple hats. 
Let's do one more at the bottom. So there it is, three hats in a row. It looks very cool, very clean. Of course, you know, if you're doing this on your own, you might wanna use a level to kind of space them out and get the exact spacing that you want. But I think this looks dope. You can use it to hang up maybe one, two, three, or five grail hats. But you can also use it, like I said, to make one of those full, really big hat walls, which I also think looks dope. If you're wondering if these are gonna tear up your paint or your wall or leave any scuffs or marks or anything, I'm gonna go ahead and remove them so y'all can see what that looks like. You can find these modern JP hat hooks on Amazon. There will be a link in the video description as well as down below in the comment section. If you're thinking about hanging hats, this is the best way to do it. If you enjoyed today's video or if today's review and tutorial helped you out in any way, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I will check y'all out in the next one.